Well, she's a very intelligent young lady and will do quite well on her own, but I'm not sure she's leaving a, a pediatrician who knows her well and going to a new doctor who doesn't know her well. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of scary. I was scared too. And then I started looking at some of this and I've been a little bit more reassured that um, the pediatrician's office will help us with transitioning. Uh, they have a care coordinator there and they have some worksheets in the book here that will help us prepare for Becky's transition. Um, so I'm not as worried about it anymore as I used to be. And not all of her specialists will change. The new doctor will just have to work with her same specialist that she's had. Have you discussed this with her? Uh, no, I think we need to, and I think we need to bring her in and let her look through this book with us, especially this part here where they have a um, Health and Wellness 101. It's not just about the, the change in physician, it's also about where she is in taking care of her own health care. Uh, I carry my insurance card, I track my own appointments and prescriptions. It's things that she can fill out whether she does, she needs to learn how to do, she wants to do, or somebody else is going to have to do for her. So I think that's... Um, Maybe we should invite her in. I think we should. Becky? Hey kiddo. What's up? You know I went to a support group meeting <clears throat> tonight. Mm -hmm. And tonight what they talked about was health care transition. Mm -hmm. and you and I have talked about it a little bit, about leaving your pediatrician, finding an adult mm -hmm. doctor. And you've taken on some more of your own health care mm -hmm. issues. Um, anyway, this book has lots of information on how we can help you do that. I learned about some things that we can ask your pediatrician so they can help us do the transition. Okay. So that maybe it'll be a little bit smoother and won't be so scary. All right. So we'll get a pen and we'll go out and we'll sit at the counter and we'll fill this out tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. You had filled out a, a checklist around some of the transition yes. issues for me, so thank you so much. Um, and some of the things that you mentioned about whether you're doing this or, or wanting to do it or needing, and it sounds like you do know what to do in an emergency, yeah. what are your needs, and mm -hmm. you, you understand your, your conditions and, yeah. and other things. But some of the things you did mention that you wanted to start doing and, and needed to learn how is about calling in prescriptions yeah. and calling your doctor appointments. Yeah, I really want to take the pressure off my mom. That's great. I think that's Thank great. You. So we have a care coordinator that is going to help me, it's kind of our champion for transition here in the practice, and Lori will work with you on some other issues that you've brought up um, in this assessment. Hi, Becky, how are you? I'm good. And Grace, how are you doing? We're doing okay today. Great, great. Well, I'm so glad you guys came in today because we are in the process of moving into a transition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of exciting, huh? And scary. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I am here to help you with this process. So, I first want to ask, do you guys have any questions about the whole transition? Is anybody knowledgeable about a life? I mean, are you going to want to take out my case? I do have a few providers in mind, yes, because uh, Dr. Madsen has actually identified a few providers who are very familiar with OI. And I have a list of those providers, so I will give that list to you, and okay. then you'll have the option of choosing who you feel comfortable okay. about seeing. And uh, with your permission, forward your medical records and get you set up okay. for an appointment. Typically for a new appointment, um, it could vary between 10 to 30 minutes, but I'm going to make sure that you get enough time within your appointment, so therefore you'll have time to discuss any questions or concerns you might have. Can we come back and see you until this is all set up in case something happens? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Our door is always open. <laughs> so you can come see us at any time. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Good afternoon. Sally Thomas speaking. Hi, this is Dr. Matson. Oh, good afternoon. Thank you so much for calling. I got your note this morning to expect to hear from you and want you to know that the uh, comprehensive folder file arrived yesterday and I took some time this morning to read through Becky's medical records. Uh, I'm wondering as I look through here, are there any things in particular that you think are important for us to know about Becky and about her family so that we can well support her as she makes this transition? 
Well, Becky, as you know, is, is pretty complicated. Um, she's got a lot of medical issues, but she's been very involved in her care, and it's really important for her to be involved in the decision-making process. That's good to know. You know, it's hard to kind of gauge that when you first meet someone and just have an initial interview, which is the kind of conversation that we had. Um, that, that's really very reassuring. I just also want to let you know that um, if you have questions in the future, please feel free to call me. Um, and I can be a resource for you for issues and questions that come up from the specialist of the other providers with Becky or with Becky and her family. Hello, I'm Rebecca Cisco. I'm here to see Dr. Thomas. Okay. Oh, I see that. You're a new patient. Well, welcome to our practice, Becky. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. And I see that your pediatrician had sent over your summary papers. Yes. So we got you all in the computer. Do you need to see a copy of my insurance card? I do. That was my next question. Okay. I need to see your insurance card, and then I'll be able to take you back to see Dr. Thomas. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.